Sixth grade, unit one, lesson 12. What is surface area? Number one, what is the surface area of this rectangular prism? Well, there's six different surface areas, the top, the bottom, the front, the back, the right, and the left. The dimensions for the top and the bottom are exactly the same, four by two and the dimensions for the front and back are exactly the same, four by four. And the right and the left sides are exactly the same, two by four. Four times two is eight, four times four is 16, and two times four is eight. The total of these combined areas is 64 square units. This rectangular prism's surface area is 64 square units. Number two, which description can represent the surface area of this trunk? A, the number of square inches that cover the top of the trunk. B, the number of square feet that cover the outside faces of the trunk. C, the number of square inches of the horizontal surface inside the trunk. Or D, the number of cubic feet that can be packed inside the trunk. B, the number of square feet that can cover all the outside faces of the trunk. Number three, which figure has a greater surface area? Figure A has a front, a back, a top, a bottom, a right, and a left. The front and the back each have a surface area of five square units. The top and the bottom each have a surface area of three square units and the right and the left sides each have a surface area of three square units. All combined, figure A has a total surface area of 22 square units. The front and back of figure B have a surface area each of three square units. The top and the bottom of figure B each have a surface area of five square units, and the right side and the left side of figure B each have a surface area of three square units. All combined, figure B also has a surface area of 22 square units. Both figures have the same surface area of 22 square units. Number four, a rectangular prism is four units high, two units wide, and six units long. What is its surface area in square units? Explain or show your reasoning. Here I've drawn a rectangular prism with those exact measurements. The front has a surface area of 24 square units, and so does the back. The top and the bottom both have a surface area of 12 square units, and the right side and the left side each have a surface area of 8 square units. All combined, the rectangular prism has a total surface area of 88 square units. Number five, draw an example of each of the following triangles on the grid. A, a right triangle with an area of six square units. First, I need to think of some dimensions for a rectangle that would equal 12, like three by four. A triangle has half the area of a rectangle, so half of 12 is 6. If I make a triangle with a base of 4 and a height of 3, its area would be 6, because it's half the size of a rectangle. And I made sure it was a right triangle by having the height perpendicular to the base. B. An acute triangle with an area of 6 square units. Again, it's six square units. Again, since we're creating a triangle, it's going to have half the area of a rectangle that has an area of 12. I can use three by four or two by six or one by 12, but I need to make sure I make an acute angle. That's an angle that's smaller than 90 degrees. My acute triangle has a base of three and a height of four and an area of six square units. C, an obtuse triangle with an area of six square units.
So again, it's a triangle with an area of six square units. The only difference is the angle needs to be larger than 90 degrees. The obtuse triangle that I drew has a base of six and a height of two. Number six, find the area of triangle MOQ in square units. Show your reasoning. Triangle MOQ is colored blue and it sits inside a larger rectangle. The large rectangle's base is 10 units in length and its height is 6 units. Surrounding triangle MOQ are three smaller triangles. One of these smaller triangles has an area of 20 square units. The second of these smaller triangles has an area of 15 units. And the smallest of these triangles has an area of 5 square units. Subtract the area of the three triangles to find the area of the colored triangle, MOQ. The area of the rectangle is 60. Take away 20 square units, take away 15 square units, and take away 5 square units, and what you're left with is the area of triangle MOQ, 20 square units. Number seven, find the area of this shape. Show your reasoning. First, I'm going to decompose the shape. Doing this formed three triangles. The dimensions of the larger triangle on the bottom is three by six. The area of that triangle is 18 divided by two, since three times six is 18. And 18 divided by two is nine. The area of this triangle is 9. The two triangles on the top are identical. The height is 2 and the base is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And half of 6 is 3. The area of each of these smaller triangles on top is 3 units squared. 9 plus 3 plus 3 is 15. So the total area of this shape is 15 square units.